I had the great fortune to um, to start at the top, really, because the, the, the first book I ever wrote, The Selling of the President in 1968, uh, turned out to be a tremendous success, both critically and commercially. And uh, you know, then you can spend the rest of your life trying to repeat that. And uh, I actually haven't. That that was the uh, that was the only political book. Um, I've written out of 11 now, although I've got to say, looking at next year, I may, uh, I may go back to that for 2008, you know, it's quite a thing. But um, it hasn't been uh, any kind of a straight line. You know, after the first thing I did after the selling of the president was to write a novel and be told by everyone that uh, I was not a fiction writer. So uh, then, you know, you know, books, uh, in terms of reception, I found, I think, that books either get more than they deserve or less than they deserve. You know, I think that, that my, the books that have been acclaimed are probably not quite as good as the uh, acclaimers would make them, and the books that have been condemned are probably not, were not quite as bad as the condemners would make them. And uh, uh, so here I am, you know, but if it's a straight line, you have to step back a long way to see it that way. And if it's a straight line, maybe it's going in the wrong direction, you know? I mean, if it's a straight line and you start at the top of the graph, you know, 40 years later, you're not going to be above that, right? So I, I don't even think of it in those terms. You know, I really just think from, from book to book, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not a good long-term planner.